Mike Wilmot. This is something, isn't it? Yeah. It's awful quiet. Yep. Stampede quiet. That's why cowboys talk around a campfire, Mike. Calms the cows. Mike. Yeah? You got any cigarettes? Well, who amongst us doesn't? <laughs> 1975. I was, I was 12 years old. I had a summer job mowing lawns. I had plenty of time on my hands back then. You wouldn't understand, Richard, the loneliness of a 12-year-old fat kid. <laughs> there was this fella, Mr. Edwards. He had a big corner house, lived all by himself, an immaculate lawn. He was a confirmed bachelor. That's what we used to call him back then. I remember being hot, and he was always encouraging me to take off my shirt. But you know, because of my body size, I was always embarrassed. But he'd say, no, Mike, it's baby fat. One day, you'll have the torso of a chiseled Latino cliff diver. <laughs> well, like I said, it was, it was really hot, so he invited me into his house for a, a cool lemonade. He said for an extra 50 cents, I could give him a back rub. 50 cents was a lot of money back then. <laughs> I felt a little weird about it, but he said, no, it's not weird. It's like a, a boxer and a trainer. I remember my pudgy fingers kneading his muscular back, and little tufts of black back hair, soft as goose down. <laughs> I remember I felt like a volcano about to erupt for the first time. I also remember not feeling shame, knowing I wasn't doing something wrong. And even now, years later, when I look back at that moment, I get a little tingle. You asked me if I had any secrets. <laughs> That's my big secret. Cigarettes. What? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, here, take the whole pack. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rick, you really gotta learn how to enunciate. What a dick. Fuck, this does not leave the campfire. <laughs> Bourbon? No. I'm gonna eliminate. Fuck you. <laughs> Was an Oscar-winning performance.